Hello, my name is TJ Plunkett. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm auditioning for the part of Daniel. Hey, Lisa. There's my handsome guy. Isn't he a looker? She overcompensates because she knows I have an enormous forehead. You're so hard on yourself. In all those surveys, you know what a girl wants in a guy right after money and washboard abs? Giant forehead. You and your melon head will be dating soon, so you should know. Walking around sniffing your hand? Not so hot. It's the stupid monster from the cheese store. Daniel has a job now. They make him wear an apron. Actually, it's so much better than the job I wanted at Sports Authority, because my apron has a cow on it holding a camera saying cheese. Well, I think it's great you have pocket money to fix up your fishing boat or to take a girl to the movies. Keep sniffing and you're going to the movies by yourself. Where, when are we going to get the dryer fixed? It's been two weeks. Because the pants never dry on the clothesline. No way, Kelsey. I told you that skirt is too short for school. Oh my god, I can't even pick out my own clothes. You treat me like a child. Anybody have a mirror? Shut up. I can't go fishing. I have to take Kelsey to buy a bra at JCPenney. I'll go. I'm not really allowed back in the ladies' underwear department, but if I'm shopping with you guys, that's not loitering, right? Come on, my uncle's a locksmith, and he gave me something that'll open the vending machines. Free cookies. Mm -hmm. I can't. The cookie companies are huge corporations that don't care about no, you. No, I've got to stay in the sun or my stupid pants won't dry. This is so ridiculous. When's your mom going to fix the dryer? I don't know, but she's acting like it's not a problem and it's really pissing me off. I am tired of feeling like some helpless little kid in wet pants. Keep it down about your wet pants. Screw it. I'm going to fix the dryer. You? What have you ever fixed? My Xbox. You unplugged it and plugged it back in. And it worked! Maybe the dryer's something simple. My dad used to fix stuff because the part's usually cheap, and he would save the labor cost. I'm as smart as he was, and I'm not drunk. I don't think your mom's going to go for it. It's not her call. I have my own money from the cheese store. Whoa, whoa. You're supposed to be saving for a new motor for the dinghy. You always said being out on the lake's the only thing that's kept you from losing it the last few months. I know, but this is something I have to do. I can't keep fishing from the sh shore with the old geezers. I swear that guy fishing next to us on Sunday was dead. He was sleeping. When you take a nap, all the color doesn't drain out of you like a zombie. Let's blow this off and go bra shopping again. I am such an idiot. What was I thinking? Hey, it's probably a bad time to ask, but did you try unplugging it and plugging it back in? I have been trying to get this stupid motor support into slot A for 20 minutes. It looks so simple. I must be a total moron. Dude, you should just bail and we'll go fishing. Oh, wait. It's supposed to go into B, not A. Sorry, man. I was playing this cool bowling game on my phone. Look, I broke a hundred. Son of a bitch, this damn screw is stripped. If you're going to use that kind of language, mister... I swear I will kill you with this wrench. You were more fun before you were the man of the house. What are you doing? Fixing it. I think. Oh, Daniel, I know I was kind of avoiding this the last couple of weeks. Maybe it's because it's the kind of thing your dad took care of. I guess now it's the kind of thing I take care of. I dropped a new motor into it. You bought a new motor? Your money's supposed to be for you to spend on fun things. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. I know you wanted to fix your boat and get back on the lake. And I know what being out there away from everything means to you. I just did what I had to do. Yes, I did it! Yes, you did. I'm sorry about all this. I mean how everything's changed. I tried my best to shield you guys from all the ugly stuff with Dad. You really think I didn't know what was going on? I guess you had to. I mean, you're not a kid anymore, right? 